Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. IU fans hope it ends with a national championship at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. Tonight, though, it begins with an exhibition game in Bloomington. The top-ranked Hoosiers opening the season at home against Indiana Wesleyan. To Assembly Hall we go. A highly touted freshman class coming in. They don't disappoint. That was Yogi Fair with the crossover and jumper. He had eight. A little bit later, Christian Watford, the senior, gets into the lane for two. He had 11. It was just a two-point game early. Watford missing the three, but you know who's there? Cody Zeller, the preseason All-American, he had 11 4 4 shooting. Hoosier shot 56% in the first half. IU running the transition game. Will Sheehy buries the triple. He was one of five Hoosiers in double figures, and that would include Victor Oladipo with the jam right there. IU up 11 at the half. They go on to win big, 86-57. Our own Joe Whalen spent the night at Assembly Hall and has more on the Hoosiers. Number one, IU had little trouble in its lone exhibition game of the season, dispatching of Indiana Wesleyan by 29 points. And it was the Hoosiers' depth making the difference as 11 players played at least 11 minutes. Everyone can play. Um, you know, we have however many scholarship guys. I don't even pay attention to it anymore. Um, but, you know, everyone can come play, and everyone, like I said, brings a different element to the game. Y'all can see that tonight. We had multiple um, lineups, and... Um, when your number is called, you want to do everything as possible to, to help the team. And, you know, like Will said, um, these two guys right here just bring a big element off the bench. I thought our guys played hard. There's no question about it. We played 12 guys in the first half. We played 11 guys 11 minutes or more. And uh, couldn't have drawn it up any better than that, to, to, to have it be that way. And uh, I didn't go in with that plan. It's just the way that it worked out. It was Richard Jr. Maurice Creek who had the biggest ovation from the crowd on Thursday night, playing his first meaningful basketball nearly a year and a half after battling injury. Tom Crean called it an emotional moment, but he added, that's just Indiana. Reporting in Bloomington, Joe Whalen, News Channel 15 Sports. Good to see Mo back and healthy. Now, all but three of IU's games this season are going to be on either the Big Ten Network or on the ESPN Family of Networks. Those other three games are going to be right here on Wayne TV. December 15th, it's IU and Butler. January 27th, the Hoosiers host Russell T. Bird in Michigan State. And February 10th, it's IU on the road taking on Deshaun Thomas and the Ohio State Buckeyes.